Hey guys, so I tried to make a video about an app that I used to like but now I hate and the video wasn't in focus and I was just kind of rambling over and over. So here is a different video. I thought of this joke earlier but I forgot to say it. Um, and then I said, camera, you need to focus. We're trying to make a video. And my camera said, you know what that sounds like? Not my problem. I tested the camera twice and neither times like it like worked. So I'm hoping this thing has my back. And I'm hoping that it's focused. It's not. And this time there's nothing I can do about it. So um, forgive me. I'll take the time to figure out what I'm doing wrong. And um, I'm sorry. I had a whole list of ideas in my notes app for videos, but I didn't really like any of them. So what is a YouTuber do when they're out of ideas? A Q&A. <laughs> I think this is the first time I got a pretty okay amount of questions. I don't think it'll be as long as a normal Q&A because nobody likes me. But I got enough to make a stable video, right? So I got all of these questions from Twitter, uh, I, I got one from Instagram, and I got some on a video that I posted that if you're watching this, the video will be deleted, but it was just a video saying, hey. I need questions. The first question is from Aubrey, and it's, How is my lord and savior Josh the cat? Why don't we go look? Ew, why, why did I say look like that? Where's my Joshy oh, boy? There he is. Mr. Man. Oh, look at him. He's snuggling with Nugget. Look. And there's... Mika? Hi, baby. Oh, you look very miserable. And there's Redbud. Redbud is... Oh, hello! Oh my goodness, hello. I have my camera, what do you want? Tiffany Rock, TMZ. Um, I, I, I'm not funny. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, have you seen that video of Dr. Phil? That's not good. Cringiest article, 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 article. Cringiest article of clothing you've ever come in contact with. This is an interesting question. I'm looking in my closet to see if I own any cringy clothes. What's the word? Subjective. This is a very subjective question because what I think is cringy isn't what you think is cringy. Well, I mean, this is kind of cringy. Considering I don't stand the guy anymore, and I just have a shirt for a YouTuber that I don't stand. I don't know. Um. Not your bae. The only reason I still wear this shirt is because it fits me really well. I think that's it. Tell us about your story to standing Kells. I would love to hear. Oh, I put this in here because I already did this. So, um, shoot. This is a real test of my YouTuber knowledge. Which side is it? I think it's this side. There should be a little eye right here if I did it right. Go click on that if you want to hear the story about me, uh, like, discovered Machine Gun Kelly and some of my other faves. Ooh, okay, okay. This one. Can you shut up? This is an interesting one. What are your top five Machine Gun Kelly songs? I read this, like, when I got the notification for the reply, what it was. I read it as, what's your favorite Machine Gun Kelly song? So I'm going to answer it like it said that. Because I had this all planned in my head until I found out that it was top five. It's weird because, like, I have, like, different favorite songs for different moods. And I also have different favorite songs, like, it depends. It's, like, how the lyrics make me feel versus the melody versus, like, the harmonies and stuff. It's, like, a whole thing. And I could make an entire video talking about my different favorite things about different songs, which is actually on my list of YouTube video ideas. I'll talk about a few Machine Gun Kelly songs and like why I like them. Like when I'm in the mood to like sing, I like Candy because there's this one part that's like, I'm in my head again. I took more medicine. Ripped off the parts from my heart and in my chest again. And I love that part. Let's hope that worked. I want to try to get the harmony in there. And then it'll be like two different clips, but I don't remember how the harmony goes. Hold on. Oh, I also like candy because of this. Oh, you can call me daddy, yeah. We don't talk about that. This is a family-friendly channel. I like his Ocean Eyes cover because when I'm like sad and like I'm just in that kind of mood where I like need a hug, 
I tweeted at one point, it sounds like how a hug feels. It probably makes no sense to you, but it makes complete sense to me. In the chorus, it's like, instead of being like, no fair, it like, just, it's like head voice. I really said head voice, where I actually meant chest voice. This isn't gonna matter to anyone, really, except for like maybe one or two people, but I felt like I needed to address that I meant chest voice. It's like, it's no fair, and I just love that, because like I can, usually like, I have like a higher voice when it comes to singing, and I never get to exercise like my lower kind of range. So like listening to Machine Gun Kelly in general just kind of helps me with that. Get the Broom was my first Machine Gun Kelly song besides like hearing bad things on the radio and I think I'm okay on TikTok. Like this was the this was the first song and also um And then there's that, like, the ending of I Think I'm Okay, where it's like, Good night, alone at midnight. And then it's like, there's like the, and then there's the, um, Young Blood's like, oh, I can't, I can't think of like, the, Good, good, there it is. And then like, El Diablo and Rap Devil are like, when I'm feeling very edgy and I want to feel like an e girl. Or something. <laughs> Hipsters who only drink craft beer and are really snobby about it or men who call women female. Oh, I'm just realizing now how this question was supposed to be asked. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that this question was like, I thought this was the, I thought they responded to the wrong tweet and I was sitting here like, well, why did you say, but now that I'm reading it out loud, they're trying to make me choose. So, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite sock? I was gonna say a sock, but this is a family friendly channel. Watch me go into my dresser and I see if there's a specific sock that I like. Catch me. I'm the one at my dresser with the socks. I don't know if this was, this probably wasn't even a genuine question. Um, oh, I have a funny story about these socks though. <laughs> These socks are from Old Navy and they're supposed to say love. I can probably find a picture on Google or something. But <laughs> my mom had these socks because we have matching socks. And she goes, there's a problem. And she had the two VE socks. So it said VV. And I'm like, I must have Lolo. And I do. <laughs> Y'all have some good questions. PP or poo poo? Y'all have some good questions. But like poo poo is also fine too. Like I don't, I'm like not one to judge. Like you can pee pee, you can poo poo. What am I doing? <laughs> this is so gross. Oh, I have another question from Aubrey that um I think we were all kind of waiting for this, considering if you know who Aubrey and I are and our friendship. Can you sing Vegas? From coast to coast, I'll make the most of every second I've been given with this crowd. There you go. Did I answer this one? I don't think I answered this one yet. What's your least favorite movie? This is hard because I don't think I've ever watched a movie that I didn't really like. Oh, I can talk about Yesterday because it's weird because like I liked it. It was an okay movie, but there were just kind of some plot holes that like I didn't understand. I'm trying to think of some other movies that like I kind of liked, but they were kind of anticlimactic or I just didn't. I don't know. I can't really think of any. I don't really watch movies a lot, to be honest. Like, I watched Nerve and I watched like a half hour of Bird Box because uh, once I found out the Machine Gun Kelly was in it. But that's it. I don't really watch movies that much. This was probably out of focus the entire time. There we go. Can you follow and mark at Florence underscore art underscore academy in your story? I live in America. I'm pretty sure this is a French school. How did they find this? Are you still part of the editing community? This is a fun fact that some people not, might not know about me. I used to make like green screen things with Video Star all the time and I used to post those on a YouTube channel and then like after that I became obsessed with fan editing and I've had 
three fan edit accounts on Instagram. I do have an editing Instagram right now, and it is tickets to my downfall, but without the vowel. So it's T K no, T C K T S T M D W N F L L. So, yeah, tickets to my downfall, but without the vowels. Ricky Dylan just posted a coming out video. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. Oh my gosh. Um, is this the last question? Yes, it is. Oh, this is kind of a basic question to end on, but, um, favorite food. And, like, I'm not even gonna, like, talk about this or make it a long story. Pizza. I eat, sleep, and breathe pizza. Pizza is my lifeline. Instead of blood going through my veins, it's like marinara sauce. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know how to end these things.